If I close my eyes, I can damn well smell it. The tower came down. It was quiet after that. It was like a very eerie silence. And then all of a sudden, we heard fighter jets flying overhead. I live 9-11 every day. We, we never found a single body. We found a few body parts. We found like a, a foot still in a shoe. The trauma of 9-11 hasn't disappeared. John Field didn't work in the towers. He wasn't a firefighter at Ground Zero. He was a construction worker called to help in the cleanup the day after the Twin Towers fell. Five days later, an 8,000-pound steel beam crushed his foot. He underwent 32 surgeries and learned to walk again. But the injury prevented John from returning to work. I got out of the hospital after 11 months, and I had to fight for my benefits. Half of my foot was in a jaw. What did I have to prove? That struggle motivated John. Instead of letting his anger get the best of him, he rallied a community of first responders like Glenn Klein to help others who were suffering. The most rewarding part is being, being able to help other 9-11 responders who are not doing as well as I am. In 2005, John started the Feel Good Foundation, razor focused on helping first responders who he believes aren't getting enough help from the government. But what have we become as a country? What have we become when we fail to help these men and women who are sick and dying or who have died? They're the best of the best of what America had to offer 10 years ago. The foundation now has volunteers across 17 states who have raised $400,000 and helped 1,000 families through access to medical care and financial assistance. After working at Ground Zero for 800 hours, Glenn says he still suffers from post-traumatic stress disorder. I have to say that one of the main reasons why I've gotten back well, pretty close to normal again is because I was able to start helping people again. Determined to see action from Congress, John made 91 trips to Washington to lobby for the Zadroga Act, which provides medical treatment for first responders. Sean Reardon, an attorney and a feel-good volunteer, helped in that effort. We have a lot of work to do to help the ho nearly 100,000 people that work down at Ground Zero on our behalf. There's no file for me. There's people. You know, the time and again you see lawyers that are just working on a file. There's no human perspective. I meet these guys hands-on. I'm fighting for them every day, and that's, that's the difference. It's turned me from a lawyer into an advocate. But there's a lot more to fight for, John says, like first responders who can't afford to put food on the table. 9-11 happened, but it's still running devastation on a daily basis. You can't change what happened on 11 I can't. Your viewers can't. To me, it's about solutions and problem solving. I'll never slow down. I don't want to slow down. In New York, Poppy Harlow, CNN Money.